Since the Confederation in 1867, education has been a provincial responsibility. Around 1905, the Quebec provincial government lent the Catholic Church and the Protestant minority organized schools. So there were two school systems in 1905, one for Catholics and one for Protestants. Around 1905, about half of the teachers were religious. The children that went to school began around six years old and finished their elementary schooling in four to five years. There were a lot of kids that dropped out of school when they were around 10 or 11 years old because they were finished elementary. In 1905, schools often looked like big houses and actually served as both the classroom and the teacher's house. All children were grouped in the same room. The teacher taught kids of every grade level at the same time. She would teach them how to read, write, and do math. She would also dedicate a lot of time to teaching about religion. Kids were regularly absent from school to help out at the house or on the farm and very few kids went on to study after elementary school. In towns, you would find art and occupational schools, like business schools, industry colleges, teachers' colleges, housewife schools for girls, classical colleges, and universities. Post-secondary education was only accessible for the very rich because education was expensive, and school was not mandatory until 1943. Around 1905, children did not have equal access to education. Their opportunities depended on gender, race, ethnicity, how rich their parents were, what area they lived in, and, of course, their religion. <laughs>